Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Gate DA24 previous year question with solution series. Now, in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 31 of Gate DA exam. Okay. Now, this question is from DBS subject, DBMS subject based on SQL. Okay. So, if you have gone through my course or if you have watched the videos on YouTube playlist, you can easily solve uh, this type of question. Okay. So consider the following two tables. So we have a two table. First one is reader team in the relational uh, database main table combat daily. Okay. The attribute ID in the table team references the primary key of the table ID. Okay. So this particular ID is primary key. Now what is primary key? So, primary key is a key which is used to uniquely identify each and every row in a particular table. Okay. And this primary key has not null plus unique constraint. Okay. Not null plus unique constraint. What is this unique constraint and not null constraint? It means that in this particular attribute or in this particular column, I cannot insert not null value and all the value must be unique. So, this is what primary key is. Now, the ID from the teams table is taking reference from the ID of rider table. Okay. Now, let's discuss. Okay. So, these two tables are given to us. The SQL query is described below and executed. Okay. Select star. So, star means we'll get all the columns. Right. What are the columns that this particular query will return? We'll get all the columns because here we have not specified any uh, specific columns. Right. So, we'll get all the columns in the output from rider comma team from rider comma team so here is a table name and here we are performing the cross join okay here we are performing the cross join simply table 1 comma table 2 is basically cross join it means we are performing the cartesian product so here we have six rows and here we have one two three four five six rows so the cartesian product of these two table so if i perform cross join i will get six cross six that is basically 36 rows Okay, so basically the combination of this row with all other rows in this particular table, the combination of this row with all other rows in this particular table. So in this way, I will get 36 rows in the cross join, right? And here where rider dot id equals to team dot id. So now we are filtering the result. Now we are filtering the table based on this particular condition. So any other rider id is equals to this particular uh, team id. And we have one more condition and city equals to Jaipur and rate points greater than 200, right? So this is the filtering condition. Okay, this is the filtering condition by and clause. So here we have three conditions. City must be Jaipur and rate point must be greater than 200, right? And we are joining based on this particular ID, right? So what will happen in this case? Now we are going to join based on this particular ID. So in the output, if you see, this ID is matching with this one. This ID is matching with this one. This ID is matching with this one. So three rows and four, five, six. So all the IDs are mentioned. So if I apply this particular condition where rider where rider dot ID equals to team dot ID, then this particular 36 rows will get filtered to six rows only. Okay. Six rows because we are joining based on this ID. Okay. And city equals to Jaipur and rate points greater than 200 and we are filtering the output based on this specific condition that city is Jaipur. Now, if you observe city is Jaipur here and here and here, so we have three Jaipur in this particular table, right? Now we are going to filter this. Now, out of these six rows, three rows having the city Jaipur, right? Now, out of these three rows, we want red points must greater than. 200. So, red point is in the riders table, riders table, right? Riders table. Now, how we can map this two table based on this particular ID, right? That is ID. So, Jaipur ID is 2, here it is 1, and here it is 6. Now, we just need to check for 2, 1, and 6. So, for 1, it is greater than 200. Yes, this will get projected. For 2, greater than 200. Yes, this will get projected. What about 6? Yes, this is greater than 200. Yes, this will get projected. So, here so all the three rows satisfy this particular condition also. So, I can see in the output three rows will be there. Okay. So, the number of rows written by this particular query is three rows only. Okay. 
is 3 only. So, in this way, this particular query will execute. First, we are performing cross join. So, we will get 36 rows. Then, we are applying this particular condition. Then, we, based on the common ID, it will get filtered to 6 rows. And then, we are applying where city equals to Jaipur and rate points greater than 200, right? So, this is how we will get 3 rows here, right? But what if instead of and, instead of this and, or is mentioned, okay? I hope you got this particular answer, how the answer came 3 for this question. Now, I am saying instead of and, if or is there, then how many rows will be there? How many rows will be there, right? Instead of and, if I just perform or. Now, in this case, what will happen? And city equals to Jaipur or rate points greater than 200, right? So, here and is having the preference, right? So, in this case also, I will get 3 rows. But what if I say, if I put a bracket here like this. Now, and inside the bracket, city equals to Jaipur or red point is greater than 200. Now, in this case, what will happen? These 3 rows will be there and these three, these 3 rows will be there and we have all condition. So, whenever the red point is greater than 200, that will also get projected, right? So, apart from this 1, 2 and 6, how many rows having a more than 200? This one only, right? So, output will be 4 in this case. So, 4 rows will be there, okay? So, in this way, you need to think, if I simply change the SQL query, how many rows I will get for this type of question, okay? I hope you understand this particular uh, question and how we got this 3 as an answer, right? I will suggest you to practice more on this type of question, okay? Because in the next gate exam also, you can expect this question for one mark or even two mark also. Okay, so I will suggest you to practice this type of question. In my test series also, I will give you enough question for practice. So, that's it from this particular video. Let's try to solve more question based on this SQL topic. I already added in my course. So, you can uh, go through that also. Okay, thank you.